Hi, I'm Tyler Fulce. I'm a nuclear engineer, a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from engineering to operations to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. Please join me on a journey to a clean, safe, reliable nuclear energy future. Today we're going to be looking at a video called the Roblox Nuclear Power Disaster. I've never actually played Roblox before, but from what I've heard, it's a little online uh, video game, widely popular, where you play a bunch of Lego-looking characters and you can create all kinds of exotic worlds where you play with your, uh, with your friends online. Sounds really cool. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay, so they're going down a turbine hall, and that's, that, that actually looks somewhat uh, plausible. As in, you have your turbines typically uh, all covered up. I see, you know, your gearbox, your exciter, the uh, statters, and then, of course, the many stages of a turbine all covered up in those uh, blue structures over there. There are some watertight doors like that in a, in a nuclear plant. Um, so whatever is behind there must be a uh, flood barrier of something. A lot of times the operating device is on the actual door itself, but sure. Oh lord, this is going to be an RBMK reactor, isn't it? <laughs> so that is the uh, fuel pad, if you will. This is located above the uh, actual reactor core itself, and you can actually move those using a uh, device to pick up and relocate the fuel while the reactor is still operating, which isn't entirely unique to RBMK's uh, can-do reactors, can also do a similar sort of thing, but yeah, that it, this one I'm pretty sure is going to be an, be an RBMK. <laughs> uh, you can probably imagine what's coming next. Swimming in the spent fuel pool is no more dangerous than swimming in a regular pool provided you stay at the surface. Um, it would actually feel kind of like a hot tub. It's about, a, about 100 degrees or so at the surface. But unless you go down and bear hug the spent fuel assemblies at the bottom, you'd actually be fine. See their health meeting showing, so the game's probably showing them taking damage. I see what they're doing there. <laughs> but nah, you'd be safe. Touch the bottom. <laughs> they're doing a pretty good job showing all the little interconnected rooms and ladders and stuff. Whoever modeled this must at least know something about what a nuclear plant, or at least a regular power plant, would look like. And yeah, okay, RBMK. This looks very similar to the actual control room in Chernobyl and other RBMK designs, with its iconic big circle that looks like a Scrabble board. That's where all the fuel is laid out, and each of those can you can have some type of alarm function, and you got all your meters and panels on the side. Uh, that's not a bad recollection using Roblox. That's that's pretty cool. Overpressure, thirty-five hundred to seventy-five hundred psi. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an overpressure. RBMK reactors uh, coolant pressure is about uh, 1,000 psi, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty high. I don't, I don't even think a meter would go up that high. <laughs> so you got coolant pumps online, uh, feed water pumps offline. Mm, yeah, you kind of need. It's essentially a boiling water type reactor. You need. You do need to have feed to keep the reaction going. <laughs> By boiling water reactor, I mean water actually boils within those channels, so that, that thing that they were talking about, which that showed 3,500 to 7,500, that would be at 1,000. Water does actually boil in there, and that's part of how the uh, reaction is 
is sustained in an RBMK design. Yeah, radiation levels look normal. Just turn some slip. We are saved. Did he turn those feed pumps back on? That might have done it, yeah. <laughs> Pressure's dropping, still ungodly high. Uh-oh. He's raising control rods. Uh-oh. <laughs> raising control rods will raise reactor power. And just like that, they full withdrawed in a matter of seconds. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Now pressure's going up. That t pulling the control rods, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna raise power. Could conceivably raise pressure, um, but obviously any sort of thing where you pull them all out that fast, that's gonna cause the whole system to swing like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> just standing right there. We're fine. Warning that said reactor core is at critical something. Yeah, should probably listen to that. But I will say that's a bit confusing because saying the reactor is critical, that just means they're at steady state and reactor power is staying at the same level, which it would be going up since they withdrew control rods. So the reactor would actually be called super critical. That's a real nice lobby. It's actually nicer than the one at the plant that I worked at. I love the detail. <laughs> yeah, pull the control rods out. Let's just go ahead and get lunch. I'm sure it'll be fine. That smoke's good, right? <laughs> wow, that was actually a pretty good depiction of a cafeteria. They had their signs that say look out for slips, trips, and falls. There's all these little safety posters there and pizza being fairly commonly served at a power plant. That This is the most realistic depiction of a power plant uh, kitchen I've, I think I've seen. <laughs> Yeah, fire has fire safety signs. <laughs> so rather than you know using their uh, coolant injection or anything like that, um, and uh, as far as I know, those feed pumps are still off. They're gonna feed it with pizza. Seems totally legit. Got their G. <laughs> so what's their plan? The but they're gonna throw in the spent fuel pool. <laughs> okay. Now the spent fuel pool is not actually connected to the. Uh, reactor which they don't appear to be showing yet connected to here so that would make Roblox more realistic than Atomic Twister. Yeah. Sure. Well, it looks like the control rod's fully inserted, though the bar graph is red this time. Did they, did they shut down the reactor? It worked. 
<laughs> what probably happened is when they left, the reactor tripped by itself. And by trip, I mean scram. Um, all the control rods just fully insert. A lot of reactor safety systems, um, that's usually the first thing it does, is shut down the reactor for you. Pretty good. They're showing you know, pumps, heat exchangers. Probably shouldn't have a crate directly on top of the heat exchanger, but they at least knew what some plant components look like. It's better than what I was thinking. Other. <laughs> Not sure what those valves did. Uh oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, and the control rods are full out again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they must not have scrammed earlier, but yeah, again, scram, uh, fully inject all control rods in less than a couple of seconds. It's an emergency shutdown. Mention Reactor 4 again, uh, yeah, this is clearly Chernobyl, and <laughs> it's only 3.6 Ronk, and they, a meme from the HBO series. Though I will say, this is a fairly um, different portrayal, a lot more lively of a portrayal than that first episode of the Chernobyl film series, or miniseries, so... I think I actually like this version better because at least it doesn't take itself seriously despite being inaccurate. <laughs> Exploded. <laughs> but it's a video game, so they have extra lives, so they just come back and it's fine. <laughs> Six. For those of you who don't know, Ronkin's a uh, measurement of radioactive dose. Uh, 3.6, and the joke that they're referring to is 3.6 is what their meter maxed out at. 3.6 Ronkin's is, is a fairly uh, large number, and it's often measured as 3.6 per hour is what they should be saying, but then again the Chernobyl film series made this mistake too. Um, 3.6 per hour. Occupational dose um, in the United States is 5 in an entire year. So, yeah, it's a lot. It's not going to kill you in an hour, but it's still more than you should get. But, of course, the actual dose, if you were standing right on a reactor core that was exploding, far, far higher. Um, really talking on the order of 30,000. Oh, that was, uh, that was certainly entertaining. I like that it didn't take itself too seriously. Um, <laughs> I will actually say, let me know if you think this is more or less realistic than the Chernobyl film series. Um, I think it's about the same. It's a bit sillier, but, and they definitely had, had a few fun things with the goofy pizza, but that being said, it's more realistic than probably The Simpsons or um, Atomic Twister. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching and, jo and joining me today. Um, again, if you like this video, please give me a like down below and go ahead and subscribe for a clean nuclear energy future. I'll see you next time. Take care.